Hey guys, this is Blendmaster here with part 2 on how to create DNA inside of Blender. And today we'll be setting up the material. So I'm going to jump over to Cycles Render and we'll be setting up the lights first. So for our DNA, we want to have some light inside the center of our strand that's uh, lighting up our DNA. And to do that, I'm just going to duplicate this uh, path. And if we come over here, I'm just going to set this to visible layers because I like that much more. It just shows us all the objects in the layer that we're currently working on instead of having all of the other extra information. And now I'm going to add a circle curve. I'm going to select the curve that we just duplicated, go over to its settings, and where it says bevel object, I'm going to select Bezier Circle. And I'll select the circle again and scale it down until this is nice and skinny, about that thick. And I'll move the circle to layer 2 by pressing M and then number 2. And then I'll select this beveled curve and give it an emission material, pure white. And I'll make sure the strength is 1. And then if we go over to the object info tab, we're going to go to array visibility and make sure that camera is unchecked so that way when we render the image out we won't have a white streak in the middle but it'll still emit its light and I'm going to select use node then make the background color black I'll just save and we also want to add a lot of light coming from the back because this is going to be a, like a semi translucent material and it needs to be lit from the back to be visible. So I'm just going to add a plane, rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees, move it back over here, and go to front view and scale it up until it's bigger than the DNA, like that. And I'll just give that the same emission material. I'll name it light. And now I'm going to set up the camera. So while in front view, I'll just press Control, Alt, and Zero on the numpad so the camera snaps to view. And I'll just position the camera right where I want it. So about here. That's good. And I'll just position this plane so it's uh, outside of our camera. Okay, that's looking good. I need to make sure that camera's unselected, unchecked for the plane as well. And I'm also going to add a point lamp. So press Shift A, go to lamp point, and I'm going to make this color white and set the strength to about 500. And I'm going to position it right back here. Okay, that's good. Now it's time to set up the material for our DNA. So I'll just add a new material and open up the node window. And I'm going to add a subsurface scattering shader and a translucent shader as well as a transparent shader. And to affect the color of all of these shaders, I'm going to just use one RGB node. And I'm going to use a hue saturation value node. And this is so that the same exact color will be used for all three nodes. But we want the saturation for the transparent and translucent node whoops, to be a little less saturated and so if we use one RGB node and just plug it into this node we can make sure that they're the same color and just the only the saturation is what's changed not the hue so I'm gonna give this uh, orangish color like that and we can tweak that a little later and I'm gonna set, set the saturation to 0.9 and I'm going to add two mix shader nodes. And I'll just duplicate it. Plug in the translucent into the first one and transparent into the second. And for the second one, I'm going to set the factor to 0.25. Now, if you go into rendered view, you can see our material. And it's starting to look a lot like some nice organic DNA. 
And what I'm going to do is tweak this color a little bit. I'm going to change the saturation a little bit more. Increase it. And that's looking good. Now the entire scene is a little dark right now and you can change that by increasing the strength of this back plane set to 2.5 and that's looking better and this plane or point lamp right here you can see that it's emitting light there change it to a thousand I'm going to move it closer a little bit. And you can see that that area is a lot brighter than the other areas. I'm just going to decrease the plane's emission strength to 1.5. And that's looking good. I'm going to position this point lamp a little better right over there. Okay move it back and that should look a lot better yeah so now you can see that this area is more lit up than the other areas and you can add that at random spots around the DNA so I'm going to add one over there I'm just going to make sure that this lamp is only a little bit behind the DNA otherwise it won't light it up properly so I'll add one over there as well position it right there okay and we can check that again in rendered view and it looks a lot better I'm going to just make sure it's in the center of our DNA and that's pretty much it for creating the material for this DNA I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'd like to see your results in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments as well. Thanks for watching.